Hi guys, Alex here, and I've increased my karma in the previous video, and right now we're heading towards the boss. Oh, I didn't talk to this guy. What would you like to know? Sanunos. Sanunos. What is Sanunos? Beyond here is an enormous monster called the Folklore. Defeating it will not be easy. It's heavily armored and its tentacles are lightning swift. Just chop off those tentacles and it might be manageable. But no one's had the nerve to do it. It spews flames and poison. If only we could stuff something big in there. Uh, what am I gonna put in the monster's mouth? Sarnunos. The right of the Kilmunis. Is that one of the creatures that I already have, the Kilmunis? The right of the Kilmunis is often performed up ahead. Fifteen Kilmunis leap about and pray, making offerings of treasure. Go and have a look. Releasing karma. Certain conditions make the folks you use grow stronger, such as absorbing the eye of the same folk many times. The Mnemosyne. <laughs> what are all those words? M N Mnemosyne. The Mnemosyne is a folk that devours the memories of the dead. If you seek the memories of the dead, touch the Mnemosyne. It looks a little like an insect. Wood in your world. Okay, so I'll have to stuff something down the monster's throat. Huh. Let me go have a look at the Kilmunis again. Oh, those are the Kilmunis. Those have hands, so I guess they offer something to the monster? Wait, I should focus also on what type of monster I'm gonna use. I guess I should probably put Bargus. Although it can change in battle, so... Hmm. Let me check. I'll use my favorite, guys. Huh? I like this guy. This guy. Well, that seems pretty good. I think. Hmm. Maybe this guy to talk to small ones? Yeah, okay. Whoa, there's so many of them. Mm, I'm gonna put wind again. This is not the monster yet. The items disappear if I don't use them quickly enough. So another item here. Triple stone.
gonna be the monster, you guys. So exciting. <laughs> Picture book details, folklore weaknesses. If they are difficult to defeat, check the picture book in the item screen accessible from the start menu. Okay, that's why we need the picture book. They shouldn't have told me though. Probably would not have known, but. Some bubbles attack guys that are floating. I tried using that guy to stop to stop the Kate Sid, but that did not work. Probably did not do it correctly. Ah I did not look at those well enough. So what am I supposed to do? If I use... Okay, that seems to be the final boss of this area. So I use one of the big guys with the horns, and then I use wind. And then I use... Okay. Let's try this. So is it Bugapoo? Or is it... It seems to be Bargast. So Wind and Agma. Yeah, I think that those were the ones. I'm gonna go have a look again. So Wind... The one to the bottom left. That seems to be... Agma, I think his name is? Okay. Let's try this. Whoa! Why am I stepping in the swamp? I should step outside. Aha! He spikes him up! Oh, that is so cool! I want to check something. I just want to see if it works with... Uh Bugapoo. When he starts trying to absorb. I don't like not seeing my character on the screen. Probably doesn't work with him. No, it 
doesn't you guys? It really needs to be Bargust. Absorb the monster. It's not a very complicated boss, but it is the first boss. So. Good. Now I'm gonna need to use Ubri. I just need to use the shield pretty much, right? done Why did it disappear? I just absorbed it. Should not have disappeared. This door? Will it lead me to Suzette's father? And we're back in dueling! What? She still has her clothes on. Where am I? Ah, nice nap. Wow, now that's a sweetie. Care for some tea, sweetie? Huh? I heard I can meet the dead here. Darn it, I thought you'd come to see me. This room channels the memories of the dead. But this looks like the village pub. Yes, it may look that way to you, but everything you see here is self-perceived. You must have gone to a pub shortly before coming here. No, that's not her, that's the other guy. You must have gone to a pub shortly before coming here. In fact, I did. Oh, <laughs> that was her. Oh. <laughs> the memory you extracted from the folklore will soon manifest as a person. His name is Rinaldo, resident of Dulin 17 years ago. Apparently, his wife is named Regine. Ready or not, here come the dead. 
<laughs> I guess he's a new guy. And I still have my clothing, my fairy clothing. Are you Suzette's father? Yes, that's right. Do you know me? My name's Helen. Helen? I don't recall. Your wife Regine asked me to come to the village. I'm sure she must have known me in the past. We were in the village only for a short time, 17 years ago. There aren't weren't many children in the village then, either. There was Harvey and one other. Harvey? The boy I just bumped into? You know Harvey? Harvey, my beloved son. That's right. I'll never forget. He was murdered. What happened to him? That day, the lighthouse keeper Ryan came to her house and told my wife and I about the awful thing that happened at the church. Oh no. It looks like our time is finished. I wanted to tell you everything. Oh, one thing. Please see that Suzette gets my letter. I hope she understands what I wanted to say. Wait. What happened at the church? Well, that sucks. Why does he have to disappear? I guess the dead don't stay very long. Oh? He transformed into a creature. What? Rinaldo, what happened? Surprised? The man you were talking to was. A mean monzine, a type of folk that feeds on memories. A bit gross, but don't be afraid, these things can show you lost memories. But how? What? Ugh! <laughs> I don't. Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> Inspector Creature Form. What did you say, Ryan? My Herbie, Little Witch. I can't. I cannot read that. I cannot die. That is way too fast. What did you say? Ryan Impossible! It's true. No! What did you do? What did you do to Harvey? Harvey, bring him back. Bring him back now. Hey. Ah! <laughs> I cannot die. Suzette has yet to be born. <sighs> Harvey, Regine. I must leave a message. Now, I need a bottle to keep it dry. We're gonna have to go and find a bottle there. I guess in chapter two, probably. Message in the bottle? Seventeen years, and it was never delivered. Then perhaps... Was that really Suzette's father? Suzette's father? <laughs> was that really Suzette's father? Well, it was. And it wasn't, you know. Helen, today you're dead. 
It's not like they're alive in the netherworld or anything. But your memories are what makes you, you, aren't they? And if someone else had your memories, they'd be you, you see? Whee! Keep opening doors to the realms and talk to all kinds of dead people. There are other realms? Yep, they are. Deeper down, the fairy realm is actually quite near the human world. But you need to earn the right if you want to go deeper. Do you think I can do it? Don't worry. You already have. You defeated the folklore. Easy, hey? Whee! You should go back to the village for now, though. Yes. I have to see Suzette. Ah. Can I talk to those guys again? Are they gonna say the same thing again? What would you like to know? Yeah, that's pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna go see the king, see what he has to say. Will follow me in other realms. Oh, that's awesome. What is he doing there? Oh, probably should have talked to him. I'm gonna go back and talk to him. As the folklore grew. It picked up memories from the dead. Absorbing this folklore's eye has allowed you to see memories of these dead people. I guess he talks now. Different stuff. I mean, I, I, I knew he talked, but he doesn't say the same thing. There's a knight called Bugol, close to the fairy lord. He's the fairy realm's most elite. Till recently, people remembered the land of the fairies. Now, it's all but gone from people's memories. See for yourself. Oblivion has already encroached on the area ahead. I think I've already read that one. That one too. The netherworld is being eroded away by Oblivion. For now, the fairy realm has managed to escape harm, but will probably soon be affected. What will happen when Oblivion takes over? You'll eventually make your way into the netherworld. That's been eroded by Oblivion. Uh, let's talk to the king. Oh, and this small guy. You actually defeated the folklore? Now I see why the fairy lord has such faith in you. You are a key figure in determining the fate of the netherworld. As you will see. The netherworld is under great threat. Only a small part of the fairy realm is still safe. What can I do to help? Just as you found the door to the fairy realm, you must find and lead us to other realms. Find the mementos precious to the dead to communicate with them. This fits your goal of finding out about your mother. 
as well. When I was young, I always believed the fairies really existed. I'll do whatever I can to help. And does she repeat the same thing again? Oh yeah, she does. Uh, and let's leave. Sorry, I read those quickly, but I think they're pretty much the same thing and what I already read in the previous video. So that's why I decided to skip those. I can't wait to see what the next place is gonna look like. Should be pretty awesome. And I'm gonna go save before leaving. Save data. And to Dulin. Yes. I wonder if that's going to bring me to chapter 2. Oh, it brings me here. Okay. Why here though? Seems to be locked. Guess I should go and find the bottle. I like going around, I know I've already been here, but whatever. My uncle is making a lot of quests for you. You should go to the pub and talk to him. That's what I'm going to do. Here. It's a lovely village. That scenery and climates are lovely. I'm not sure I'm making her voice correctly. <laughs> it sounds like all the other voices. That kind of doesn't work. It's a lovely village. The scenery and climate are lovely. It's such a shame the village is so deserted now. I'm sure someone's there, but they won't answer. I should go check the pub. Maybe I'll have like missions. called Hervey in this village. He died 17 years ago, on the night of Shamhain, that poor unhappy family. Didn't the girl just tell me he had quests for me and that now there's no quests? That kinda sucks.
Let's get out of here. That's the old lady's home. The one in the wheelchair. I remember him well, Rinaldo. Was Hervey's father. His son Hervey had a serious illness. That poor boy. Uh, that must be Suzette's house. Did you find out anything? Your father was thinking about you up until he died. Alright. You can say whatever you want. But where's the proof? Come to the beach with me. I think your father might have left something there. No, forget it. What's good that's going to do? What good's that going to do? <laughs> Wait, should read that again. No, forget it. What good's that going to do? Fine. I'll go and look by myself then. How can you prove you met the dead? Is it all just a trick? My reasons for coming are personal. I'm looking for something, you see? Still, it wasn't lying when I said it was for research. I wasn't lying. It wasn't lying. <laughs> I said that in a weird way. <laughs> okay, let's head down here to the beach and find that bottle. Oh, there's a bottle. Why didn't she see it the first time around? Now where is it? <gasps> Suzette! Stop digging up old skeletons. I don't want to know about my past. It would only make me resent my parents. No! Your family didn't do anything wrong. Then what did they do? What's this? Dear Regine, Sorry I could not make the four of us happy. Give Suzette all the love and care you can. And to Suzette, as yet unborn, may you be happy with a loving family. The writing, it's all smudged. I can't read this rubbish. Your father cared for family more than anything else. Your mother lost a very special man. Why did father die? So sad. You want to find out about my year past? Yes, I understand. Deep down I wanted to know too. Why did your mother bring me here? Mother found out all about you. One day she laughed like a mad woman and came to this village. 
What was Mother thinking when she came to this village? Is that going to bring us to chapter 2? Yes! Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed myself a lot. And don't forget to kick the big humongous monster in the swamp with tentacles, ass using spikes, and tigerish claws, and wind, <laughs> and also uh, grabbing his soul. And uh, don't forget to be the best that you can be. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys later.